So today I thought I'd do a video similar to my last one, so if you haven't seen that one, you can check it out. It's acne prone um, kind of makeup tutorial. So today I thought I would follow along that path of video and do an acne prone skincare kind of thing. My skin used to, well I used to struggle a lot with my skin, I still struggle now but I have improved so much. Um, I'm just going to insert some photos of what my skin actually used to look like. But yeah, I feel like I've come a long way. My skin still has the odd breakouts, but it's not nearly as bad as as a whole. So I thought I would just run you through my morning routine and my nighttime routine. So let's start off with my morning routine first. Now, when I'm filming this video, it's not actually in real time. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I use now. Um, I've got no makeup on, so I've got fresh face, um, and then I'll do the nighttime one after as well. My skin is going to get a massive boost of skincare today, um, but anything for the sake of the video. So first and foremost, um, in the morning I don't actually use a cleanser, I just use water. Um, I've done this for years, it's not a particular reason, I just feel like maybe it's a bit too stripping for my skin. Um, if I do use cleanser twice a day. So I just go straight in with skincare. Now I like to go in with the vitamin C first in the morning. I like these two products. This one is a powder form that um, you can mix onto your mix into your moisturizer and this is like a serum kind of um, form. Now I know a lot of people say that vitamin C doesn't really work unless it's in a certain type of container of like air tight and stuff but I actually have just personally seen a difference since I've used vitamin C in my overall complexion and like my pigmentation so I'm just going to continue going at what works for me. Um, these two products are really good. I use this more on a daily basis. This one is more of a occasional kind of thing because it is really good but it's more of a hassle to keep having to mix the powder in. I just mix it onto my skin. I use a really gentle touch. My next thing is moisturizer and as I said in my other video, I am so so particular with my facial moisturizers and the only single product that I can actually use is this. This moisturizer I just feel like works the best for me. I like to bring this down on my neck. Anything that's left over, I like to roll into my hands. I don't know if that's kind of like a trick. Maybe everyone does that. Now, the next thing, so important, however, I am still yet to figure this step out in my skincare routine because I feel like it's such a hard product. But it's sunscreen, SPF, whatever. I've tried quite a few, and um, different ones work in different ways, obviously. As an acne prone girly, this is a big thing that you have to get right because I feel like if you get the wrong one, it can be a bit too greasy and it will clog your pores. Another thing for me is a lot of them irritate my eyes. I wear contact lenses and some of them just go in my eyes when I start sweating and they're just so, so irritating. So I've actually got two products for this that I'm gonna show you that I use. So yeah, this one's a spray on one. I also use the Bondi Sands SPF 50 in the actual tub. I mean the tube thing so it's really greasy and this is really greasy as well i kind of like putting this on top of my makeup at the end if i want extra glow it's good for the price it's like five pound now the one that i use on a daily basis is this one and it's just the purified daily moisturizer spf 30 now i do want to try and get one that's a bit higher on the spf side but um for now this will do purified is, is a brand that specifically caters for people with acne prone skin I find that they kind of they do keep to that promise the products don't break me out i don't know if it's the most efficient spf on the market but knowing how easily i break out with things it works for me fine and again i like to bring this down on my neck because it is so important your neck is also exposed to uv rays on a daily basis unless you're wearing a total neck every day and i also like to put the leftover on my hands again my last step for my morning routine is this vitamin E hydrating mist from Superdrug. I just like to put it 
to spray this. It's so nice. Well, that is actually all I do for the morning. So first and foremost for my nighttime routine is if I'm wearing makeup, I obviously need to take that off. So the product that I tend to gravitate towards is the same as the spray that I've just used for my morning routine and it's just this vitamin um, micellar solution. Superdrug actually has deals on where you can get these products. Um, I think it's three for two, which is when I always stock up. Once I've done that and taking my makeup off, I go with a cleanser and I change between two cleansers. Now, these are the two products that I use. So this is the CeraVe Blemish Control Cleanser and this is the Neutrogena Clear and Radiant Face Scrub. I know a lot of people are going to come for me for this one, but I just feel like it works for me. Hate me for that recipe. I just feel like it does the job. It's four pound, can't complain. This one is a bit more. I think it's like twelve pound. This one is so much more thicker, I feel. I only use this like once a week when I feel like I really need an extra cleanse, whereas this I will use every night. And it's just, it works for me, okay? Don't come for me for that. Now after I've come out of the shower or washed my face or whatever, um, but I've got a clear face, no makeup, um, I go in with this and this. Honestly, this is where it's at. I tell you this product saved my skin I am not even joking initially and this is actually a tip that I love to do with skincare and stuff if you're a bit sh like unsure on what is going to work for you buy travel sized products because that's what I did with this it's a bit expensive so I bought a travel sized product and um, size of it which is like 18 pound 11 pounds something like that and then when I knew it worked I bought the bigger bottle which by the way has lasted me so long because I've had this for over a year and I use it like three times a week holy grail day to day i just use my fingers um and i just dab it on like that so like i said i use that three times a week um i used to use it every night and then i realized that that was way too stripping for my skin and i calmed it down a little bit so just word of advice don't use those exfoliants too much because they can just damage your skin even more now the next thing is this nice in mind um, I used to use the ordinary one, which is actually also really good, but I just happened to buy this one because I was a super drug and I feel like it also works really well. I just put a few drops on my skin. Don't let the dropper touch your face like it did just mine. I use that about three to four times a week as well, just on random days. I don't really have a set routine for that. So my next step on my nightly routine, again, is the same moisturizer. Um, I'm not gonna put this on again because I just did that in my morning one. Um, but you know the drill, it's the best and it's the same one I use. So guys, that was my skincare routine. I feel like that was kind of really short, but that's honestly all I use. Is that a lot of products actually? I don't know. And just a disclaimer at the end of the video, diet and water intake has a really big effect on your skin as well. So you could be using all the skincare that you think should be working, but if your diet isn't the best or you're not drinking enough water, you might not see the results that you're looking for. So yeah, thanks for coming along for another video. Um, hope to see you soon. And again, subscribe because I'm gonna do loads of these videos and I'm trying to do Subscribe!